Dear students, welcome to the very first lecture of environmental study. I am Mr. Parag R. Sali, working as a lecturer in Department of Computer Technology at SNJB Sri HSJB Polytechnic Chandwad. Now, today's lecture I am going to discuss with the topic environmental study. Now, we are in a fifth semester and our course title is environmental study. The course code is 22447. In today's lecture, I am going to deliver the topics like teaching and examination scheme of fifth semester, rational means why to learn the environmental study subject. Then we will discuss with the course outcomes means after completion of this theory paper, we are able to perform which topics. Then teaching and examination scheme of EST and then we will go with the unit wise mark distribution as well as which books we can refer for this subject. So we will start with the first topic that is teaching and examination scheme of the fifth semester. Now friends as we know for the fifth semester we have five theory papers. Four theory papers are compulsory while one elective we have to choose among the three. In this way we have 500 marks allocated for theory while 400 marks are allocated for the practical. In this way our fifth semester will cover 900 marks. We have the theory papers like environmental studies, operating system, advanced Java programming, software testing and among the three we have to choose a one elective. Next comes rational means why to learn this environmental study subject. So friends as we know today we are facing the biggest challenge of survival. As we know we have increasing population as well as we have increase in the pollution level also which is degradation of ecosystem and the depletion of the natural sources like forest resource, water resource, energy resource, land as well as the mineral resources. So as these are getting lesser and lesser we have to learn this environmental subject so that why we are there some solutions to these problems and in this way we can have a awareness in a public as we know environmental study is a interdisciplinary subject which is a combination of various subjects like physics chemistry biology so after completion of this paper, you are able to come to know that which ethics we have and which natural issues we have so that we can overcome these problems. So it is important to learn this subject. Next comes course outcomes means these are the benefits after completion of this subject, the students are able to have a various outcomes like number one, develop public awareness among the environment. Means after completion of this subject, the students are able to make the awareness in a public regarding some environmental issues as well as students are able to give some alternative energy resources so that we have a less pollution as well as students are able to conserve the ecosystem and biodiversity. So ecosystem can be defined as a natural unit that consists of living and non-living parts which interact to form a stable system. So we know that this is an ecosystem and biodiversity. 
सो वेन वी डिस्कस रिगार्डिंग द बायो डायवर्सिटी डायवर्सिटी मीन्स द नंबर एंड वराइटी ऑफ स्पेसिज वाइल बायो डायवर्सिटी इज द डायवर्सिटी ऑफ प्लांट्स एंड एनिमल्स लाइफ इन अ पर्टिकुलर रीजन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड सो वी आर एबल टू कंजर्व दिज इको सिस्टीम एज वेल एज द बायो डायवर्सिटी कंसेप्ट आफ्टर कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस पेपर देन वी द स्टूडेंट्स कैन एबल टू अप्लाय डिफरंट टेक्निक्स सो दैट वी हैव अ लेस एनवायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन सो वी कैन इन दिस वे वी हैव सम कंट्रोल ओवर द पोल्यूशन एंड लास्टली मैनेज सोशल इश्यूज एंड एनवायरमेंटल एथिक्स ओके सो एथिक्स लाइक Uh, deals with the moral duty and the obligation okay so nowadays we have the issues like reduced pu- uh, purity of atmosphere increasing in the level of co2 concentration depletion of natural resources depletion of quality of environment so these are the issues today we are facing not only we the world is facing these are problem so how to manage these the students are able after the completion of this subject then next comes the teaching and examination scheme of est subject so friends as we know for this subject we have a three theory lectures means three hours per week now this paper have a theory parts now theory part can be divided into two parts like ese that is end semester examination now for this course we have a theory paper which is composed of 70 marks now for this paper we have a online examination so you don't examination then pa that is progressive assessment is having a 30 marks which can be divided again into two parts 20 marks are given for the average of sectional examination which are conducted throughout the semester while 10 marks are allocated for the micro project for this paper we don't have any practicals so in this way we have a weightage of 100 marks next we will discuss with the unit wise mark distribution so friends environmental study this course is divided into five units number one unit is a environment where we have to learn with the definition need of environment then we also discuss here the segments of environment like atmosphere hydrosphere lithosphere and biosphere as well as we have to discuss with environmental issues like greenhouse effect climate change global warming acid rain ozone layer depletion as well as the nuclear accident then we also have to cover the concepts of 4r and how we are able to make a public awareness regarding the environment this unit can be completed in 6 hour while 10 marks are allocated by the msbt second unit we have to learn with the energy resources where we can go for the natural resources like forest water and energy land and mineral as well as we have to discuss with the renewable and non renewable resources then causes and effects of depletion of these resources then energy forms and energy conservations so these topics we will cover in a unit number 2 10 hours are required to complete this unit as well as 16 marks are allocated then unit number 3 is a ecosystem and biodiversity so friends as you know ecosystem can be defined as a natural unit that consist of living and non living parts which interact to form a stable system so we have to discuss the concepts like these and as well as biodiversity okay so 8 hours will be required to complete this chapter as well as 12 marks are allocated then we have unit number 4 that is environmental pollution so in this unit we have to discuss with the 
types of pollution like natural pollution and artificial pollution as well as we have to discuss with the various types of pollution like land water then what are the causes of that what are the effects on the environment like living and non living things okay then this unit can be completed in 16 hour while 20 marks are allocated last unit is a unit number 5 social issues and environmental education in this we have to discuss with the social issues like reduced purification of atmosphere then increasing level of co2 depletion of natural resources depletion of quality of environment due to the urbanization industrialization and the deforestation so these are the topics that we will cover in unit number 5 which will be cover in 8 hours while 12 marks are allocated so in this way to complete this course we should require 48 hours and the, in this way we are 70 marks are distributed in 5 units friends next is a suggested list of books so you can refer these books for the environmental study like basic environmental sciences by michael alevi environmental science by dr y k singh environmental studies by eric barucha environmental studies by the raja gopalan then also we have textbooks of environmental science written by the arvin kumar sir and a textbooks of environmental studies by the shashi chawla so these books can be referred for this subjects all the books are available in our library so you can issue this book i recommend you to go with the environmental science written by dr y k singh so this book is a very good and the language used in this book is also a good and easy to understand so thank you very much friend